Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you are watching Pouring with Sonia. And I have this beautiful basket or pot of flowers outside, and they're purple, reds, orange, green leaves, and I thought, oh, let me do a, a purple, red, orange, green pour to kind of, it kind of reminds me of those flowers. So I thought, well, maybe two shades of green, my purple, my orange. The first red I mixed up was more like a pink, but it's a pretty pink. So then I went and got an actual more red. And then I was like, well, a little bit of yellow in the center of the flowers. And I, I ended up with this whole rainbow. <laughs> so I think I have too many colors, but let's just have some fun. <laughs> so let's see. The colors that I did mix up for my dark red, I put a lot of like mica powders in these two to just kind of punch them up a little. So I have just a student grade fire red. That's this one here. <clears throat> because the first one I mixed up was the permanent alizarine and it was more like a pink. It's more like a magenta. And I thought it was going to be a red color. Because doesn't that look... Just, I guess, when I add it to my pouring medium, like, this is supposed to be the color of the paint, and it's so pink. <laughs> so, it threw me off a little bit, but it is pretty, so. Um, and then I had some Celadon green, but when I added the um, pigment to it, it really got a lot brighter, so it's not really anything you would recognize, because I altered it. Then I have some... Um, these are all Joe Sonia's except for this one. I have some phthalo green. Uh, I have some deep yellow. I have some vermilion. And I have dioxinine purple. <clears throat> Here. Um, some of them I mixed up before. Uh, let's see. Opaque, opaque. But the rest of them are semi-transparent and transparent, so... All right, those are the colors. Basically rainbow. <laughs> Even though I wasn't going for a rainbow pour at all, I was going for my potted flowers and then it just kind of morphed. <laughs> so there's no blue in it, but no indigo. And then I just have some um, cell activator I mixed up earlier today from US Floetrol. So to my U.S. flow trial, you know, I add the white, and then I add some glue and some wood conditioner. So it's a little concoction there. <clears throat> uh, I mean, I got some more other paints mixed up over here. <laughs> no, cut it off. I've got too many already. But I've got some Payne's Gray and some Deep Blue Violet and Amethyst. I just don't think I can do it. It's only a 10-inch record. <laughs> I have so many. My pillow paint, Sherwin-Williams, color to go, satin paint. So, let's just do a little puddle here. Oops. And see what we get. I like record pours just because um, they're cheap. They're like 50 cents. And I like the shape. I like the circle shape. <clears throat> and I kind of like to repurpose stuff. Like, I think it's kind of cool. So someone had asked me before, how do I hang them up? Let me see if I've got that handy here. This is yeah. So I just get these little plate hangers. They're just by 3M. And so if you're looking for how would you hang up or display a plate that, you know, you don't make into a clock or something. These are little plate hangers. It's double stick. They have different weights. Um, like they'll hold up to two pounds, up to four pounds, up to whatever. And then you can just stick that on the back and then voila, you have something to hold and display your plates by 3M. And if you look up uh, a plate holder, um... Yeah, they're just plate hangers. Then you that's how I can display mine. <clears throat> okay. Um 
I like to go within about one and a half, two inches of the sides of my things because then I know I've got enough pillow. Now let's think about the order. I think I want to do the green on the bottom just because I was thinking of a plant originally. <laughs> I don't know. What color should I do? What color should I do? I love the purple and red together. Hmm. I don't want the light and I love orange and pink together not that they're gonna stay like that but let's start going this way with the green in the center I'm trying to decide if I should just do one big bloom or like multiple blooms let's just do one big bloom Probably should swipe with this many colors, but let's just see what happens. For my pretty little potted plant inspired pour that is now remarkably like a rainbow. <clears throat> Which wasn't my intent, but it just kind of morphed that way. Those are good colors together right there. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's basically the leaves. You got some varying shades of greens and yellows. And now for the flowers. Now I don't have any pink in the flowers. But I guess you could say that the pink would be a shade of the red, you know? The flowers definitely have um, also got, they're like, dark orange with a little bit of pink and a little bit of, I guess there's a little bit of yellow. And then there's some separate flowers that are red. And there's some purple ones. And it's just this beautiful, I love it, potted flower. So there we go. I don't know how this is going to look. It's just going to become a really big muddied mess if I've got way too much paint on there. <laughs> or what? But I'm going to move some of this out of the way, put my cell activator in here. And now in order for me to get all of that paint, I am going to use my Revlon hot air tool. It's meant to have a round brush. There's two different size round brushes that come with this tool, which are detachable, which is nice. And then um, there's a low, high, and cool setting. And so I will use the cool setting, which is a high air force, but low heat. <clears throat> so, I got everything out of the way. Let's give this a quick little stir and put a decent amount in there. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. I don't know, guys. Oops, stuck. I didn't get much of my cell activator out there, did I? And now for the hard part of being patient, for it to all kind of come back underneath that center. Looks like I got down to that green that was on the bottom. I got the dark green, some light green, some yellow and orange, red and purple. <clears throat> and pink. Pinks. Yeah, so I got a pretty good using that tool. <laughs> I don't think I could do it without it. <gasps> Here, look at how some of these are developing. Ready? Look at some of those. Look at pretty neat. <laughs> Yay! That's the only disappointing side, so maybe, I don't know. 
<clears throat> and let's see. Nope, that middle's not moving yet. So we will just wait a little bit longer. Because what will happen with this is it will keep on developing. Probably even after you stretch it for a good 20, 30 minutes. So if you've got a lot in the middle, you're like, oh no, I've got a lot in the middle, but it's going to still keep shrinking up and shrinking up or growing out and growing out. The cells will change a little. So I really got great cells, but not a ton of lacing. It's a little odd. Normally I have a ton of lacing. But I just have a little here, which I think is, as I'm stretching, it's probably going to get really delicate and really thin. We'll see. Let's see. Are you moving all together? Eh, almost. Pretty close. I'm going to kind of walk it down a little bit. I want to kind of try and get I like to get a little bit of that <clears throat> on the side there so it can stretch 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 just tip it over the edge there we go It doesn't seem like, I mean, it seemed like I had tons of pillow, but we'll see. <laughs> Definitely reminds me more of a rainbow than a flower. <laughs> than my flower pot, even. That's okay. Because so far, it's pretty cool. If I don't mess it up. Let's move this back to the center a little bit and then stretch it down here. Okay, so I think the only color that got a little bit lost, that pink, I mean I see it but <clears throat> Let's stretch this back out here. Those cells that I just squashed up there. <laughs> That's pretty neat. It is pretty neat. I don't know. I think I'll just stop there. I could get a little bit off there. Nope. I think I'll just stop there. I don't want to mess things up. Um, and I can see something's stuck right there. And if I keep moving, it's going to um, cause it to ripple. So I don't want to do that. I'm just going to leave it be. There might be a clump or something in there that I didn't see. But I don't want to try and fix it now because that's pretty neat. <laughs> so let's have you come down and take a look, a closer look with me. There's lots of shimmer in this which is kind of nice. So this was supposed to be my purple, red, orange, and green pour that reminded me of my basket of flowers. And that green was on the bottom and it came up pretty nice. And the purple was on the top and it's right along the outside. So I got a lot of the purple and the green. I got a lot of the red. Um, just a tidbit of the yellow, which I'm okay with, because there's just, it's like the yellow in my flower basket is just kind of like integrated with the orange, so, which is kind of what I have here. I kind of have the yellow and orange. Wow, it's pretty vivid and pretty fun. Um, I wish you could see the shimmer, but you won't be able to probably see that until I can hold it up and like tilt it around in the sun. So, yeah. I'm glad I didn't go crazy and put in the blues. I got some blues and amethyst because these are the colors that were in my flower basket, except for that 
alizarin, which is really like pink, which I don't think, eh, kind of got a little bit lost. I got a little bit of it in here, but for the most part, it's just my purple, red, and orange, and my green. Fairly satisfied. <laughs> um, not a ton of webbing. Some. I like it, though. I'm okay with, like, just cells there. Because I've got some pretty fun cells. Look at those cells. Orange and red and two shades of green, orange and red surrounded by white. Look at those cells. I'm okay. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Uh, mostly it's the green interacting with the others. I don't have a ton of, well, I guess I've got some multicolored like surrounded by purple. Oh, pretty neat. I hope you like this. I'm pretty happy with it. I hope it dries well. And uh, there's my flower basket. So I hope you like it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I'm just going to keep trying new things. You can, in comments, you can write, hey, try this technique. I don't just do shilly pours. <laughs> Although I have been stuck on them lately. Um, but I'll do other techniques. I'll do color palettes if you want me to try them. Um, I also do a lot of like silhouettes. So if you want to see me like try and do a silhouette, like for example, here's like a Marilyn Monroe I did from a pour. Um, so you can give me suggestions for silhouettes, different types of techniques, different types of colors, and I'll give it a try. So anyways, um, until we meet again, have fun painting everyone. Bye.